empathy feels like it's in short supply in, in mm -hmm. the world we occupy, but it, I felt like Fisher Davis got like a collective hug from folks that are like, man, this kid played his behind off, and if not for him, and he made a mistake, and I, I felt like he owned it up. I, I don't know, what do you say to the kid in that moment, Jay? There's nothing you can say. Yeah. You just, you have to, like you said, you have to own it and move on, that mistakes happen in games, and there's, a, there's plenty of blame to go around or accountability, because uh, Coach Bryce Drew was pointing right at uh, the Northwestern player at Bryant McIntosh and the kid got confused he made a mistake he thought he was down one saw the coach pointing and may maybe he's pointing you, you pressure the ball you do this you know he's giving out all kinds of instructions and it just happened in the heat of the moment you don't see it very often no you know when people say these things happen they don't happen not much but it doesn't happen very much but you feel for the kid what were your thoughts uh, Vandy played themselves into the NCAA tournament and I think the kids a sophomore and it's easy from the outside looking in to say, you have to know time, situation, place, what's occurring in that moment. But if you haven't been a player, you haven't been in that moment with the chaos that's going on around that, um, I'm not gonna make, making excuses for the kid at all. But it, it, it's a state of confusion sometimes when you're in this moment where you're trying to win this game. Obviously, you didn't even recognize. And I, you kind of also want to understand, like Bryce Drew, from a coaching perspective, to look at your player and kind of give them direction. They didn't have a timeout to call. But I know I've also seen coaches say, hey, look, we know we're up one, right. you know, discipline defense. And sometimes when you don't have that communication, things get lost in translation. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to subscribe to ESPN's YouTube channel so you'll always stay up to date on all things SVP, which sounds awesome. You don't want to miss out.